Hello, and welcome to Stage, Screen, and In Between. I'm Helen. Tonight, we're at the fantastic Long Island International Film Expo Awards. Stay tuned. In the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. I am with Kiran Sheehan, a nice Irish lad who was in Phantom of the Opera and other great shows. Les Tell Miz. everybody, Les Mis. Les Mis and uh, a few shows in New York with the uh, Irish Repertory Theater Company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, big, you're big into theater. I am too, yeah. but I didn't make it as far as you did so far. So let me ask you, how young were you when you started to be in the theater? Um, I was actually an engineering major in college. Really? Yeah, and uh, I took an acting class just to meet girls. So a no, a no. <laughs> I heard that, that works. <laughs> <laughs> it does on occasion. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah so, um, are you married? I am. Oh, yeah. So it worked for you. It did. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, my uh, my wife was uh, the dance captain on Phantom. So oh. that's how we met. L let me ask you, how did you get into Phantom? Um, I did a show off Broadway with Hal Prince, who directed Phantom, and uh, he asked me if I sang, and I said little, and. Uh, he sent me to his daughter's voice teacher for a few months, and then yeah. next thing I know, I'm on Broadway in Les Mis, and then That's Phantom. Wonderful. Yeah, I've seen Phantom of the Opera in England. Mm -hmm. I've seen it uh, in Las Vegas at the Venice, and I've seen oh, it in uh, Manhattan. I'm touring at the moment, touring around the world with uh, three other guys who played the Phantom. One of them was Brent Barrett, who was oh, the really? Phantom in uh, Vegas. Yeah. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. It's so cool. It's so cool. Wonderful show. So now I just heard you singing inside. Yeah, we're trying. We're we're choking we're choking what are we going to hear from you tonight? A um, little from uh, Les Mis, uh, maybe something. Carousel, which I did last year in Boston, and uh, of course, a little Phantom. Yeah. Do you do any film work? Um, I've been doing some film work actually with uh, Dipper Markowitz. Okay, uh, tell us a little bit about that. Um, I just did a film, uh, I guess it's about two, six weeks ago, two months ago, with uh, Joan Jett playing her husband, oh my God. which was great fun. Yeah, and then uh, before that, I just shot a, fil a film called Burr with. Um, 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 Sean Young, oh, and yes, uh, I love yeah, her. I yeah, know her. yeah, and yeah. I was I was playing her boss, which was g great fun. Yeah, great to boss her yeah. around. <laughs> <laughs> Not many can say that. Yeah, right. yeah. and uh, so I'm really enjoying that, and I'm shooting a film upcoming with uh, another one with uh, Deborah called The Narcissist. Oh. Yeah, which we're excited about shooting. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Is there a website where we can find out more? Um, well, Kieran Sheehan dot com, C I A R A N Sheehan S H E E H E N dot com, okay. and uh, we've also got uh, a film that's doing pretty well that uh, Deborah uh, directed and um, helped uh, produce and co-write called uh, The Waiting Room, which is doing oh, pretty I well. Oh, I heard about that. That's with Kathy Moriarty, right? No, no, that's oh, another that's one. another one. Yeah, another one. She, Deborah's pretty productive, you know. Oh, oh. The waiting room is the the woman from the Rockettes because I interviewed her, the girl with the dark hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, What's her name again? Uh, Jennifer Giles. And, right, Jennifer uh, Giles. Yeah. yeah, I know her. And it's about um, it's about a woman, and she passes she passes, and her husband gets remarried, uh -huh. and then her, the new the husband and the new wife um, end up at Heaven's Gate, and there's a a bit of a come to terms with oh. so it's a it's a lovely it's it's touching and it's it's funny and uh makes it gives you a little think oh i've got to see that one well best of luck to you you've got a lot so going on thanks mclaughlin you've got the <laughs> luck of the irish i'll tell you try thank you when carousel was revived on broadway um that a number of years ago i was uh it was in, i was in phantom of the opera so i never got a chance to play the role of uh billy and billy bigelow now um one of my favorite songs from that show is uh, You'll Never Walk Alone from uh, by Rodgers and Hammerstein. And uh, I don't get to sing this in that show either. In fact, when I did Carousel last summer up in Boston, a friend of mine brought her mother. And uh, at the end of the show, she said, What do you think, Mom? Wasn't he great? She said, I'm really annoyed. And she said, Why are you annoyed? He didn't sing You'll Never Walk Alone. I like how he sings. She said, Mom, he, he was dead. You know? so I don't care. He should have sung it. Anyway. So. <laughs> Of the storm is a golden sky, and the sweet silver song of a lark. Oh, through the wind, oh, Walk on, walk on with 
Please welcome the Na please welcome the Nassau County Film Commissioner, Vice President of the Long Island Film TV Foundation, one of the founders of Live, and writer, director, producer, casting director, God, it's exhausting, and author, Deborah Marcus. First of all, thank you, thank you, Karen. First of all, that was a. Uh, wow. I think we have a happy birthday wish from a couple of people, John. Do we have that available? <laughs> Sorry, he was playing with my phone. <laughs> to you, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Somebody missed rehearsal. Happy birthday to Look who I have with me now, the very handsome Kevin Brown from 30 Rock. How are you doing, Kevin? Hello there. How are you? It's so good to see you again. How many years have you been coming here, Kevin? Maybe 22 of those. Th <laughs> <laughs> Maybe about five or six. Yeah. Yeah. And what have you been up to lately? Because I know you're always busy. Uh, I did a couple of movies, what, Ocean's 8, I'll be in Ocean's 8 with the, with the little girls, with the daughters of all the Ocean's guys. Okay. Uh, I did a new series called Nefertiti, I play a gangster. Okay. That's why I grew the beard. Look at the beard. I you like guys. it. I like it. I look scary, right? You're keeping it very neat. I like a neat beard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's hard. It took me, this is like six months, six months of growth. <laughs> now, are you going to be the host tonight? <clears throat> I'm sorry. That's okay. You're going to be yeah. the host tonight. Yes, I am hosting. I am the regular host. Like, if you ever come here and there's somebody else hosting, that means I got into a tragic accident. <laughs> yeah. Or Steven Spielberg booked me in some movie, and I won't say no to Steven. But otherwise, I'm here every year. I know, and they're calling us inside. Do you have a website where we can keep up with everything you're doing? Yes, uh, uptownkevinbrown.com. You, you Broadway people are just super duper talented, man. And so you you played in what what was the stuff you named? You were in what now on Broadway? Uh, Don't wait, wait, wait now. Where did, you were the Phantom though. Yeah. Wait, you were the Phantom? That's the Phantom! Dude, you a bad boy, man. Very that was beautiful. That was beautiful. I just gotta say, I was sitting on the side and I was just in awe. I was in awe of your talent. I did just become a grandma. I'm so proud. He's four weeks old today. He's a great little grandma. And he's named after my husband, Henry. I don't know what she was doing. <laughs> yes, 20 years we've been doing this, and I look back and I can't believe it. Deb and I had uh, complete black hair then, and now we have to get it out of a bottle. But um, we're doing good. We're doing good. I'm very proud of everybody that's been with us through the years. And I'm also proud that I've uh, acclimated myself to what's called the Finishing Fund Grant. We give back to the community in every way that we can, and we have a Finishing Fund Grant. And um, this year we have a, a winner of a picture called The Power of Prayer. Did I say that right? I hope I said that right. Yeah. Uh, the filmmaker, I believe, is here, and his name is Drew Heinrichson. Drew, if you come on up, and I want to say that we dedicate this year's Finishing Fund Grant to Christina Wood but also to Steve McDonald. Uh, he was the police officer that recently passed away, and uh, he was one of the Finishing Fund Grant judges for many years. Drew? Thank 
Uh, okay, uh, Karen, that was great, you know. Kevin, good to see you after a um, merry little Christmas. And sayonara, I'll keep it short. Okay, and uh, now I would like to welcome the Long Island Film and TV uh, Foundation president, one of the founders of Life and one of the owners of the Belmar Movies, Henry Stanfell. <laughs> I never prepare anything because I'm too busy, but I do want to take this time to thank a couple of people. Number one, John Marine, he is our tech man, he is a guy, he developed a presentation today, so I just want to thank you for this. I also want to thank our uh, distinguished guests who are going to also be presenters. Karen, you volunteered your craft to us on our stage, thank you very much for that. I know a number of you are going to do the same. So I do, I do thank you for coming in and honoring these filmmakers who work very hard in their films. And, you know, it's, it's a long haul. You know it's all a long haul. And so uh, we only want to do the best presentation we can do for our filmmakers. And that's what it was all about. Twenty years ago, uh, three people came up to Annie and I and said, we want to run a festival in your theater. At the time it was the Malvern Theater. And it was Marty Cohen, it was Bob Hance, and it was Debbie Markowitz. And since then, things have changed. Uh, Bob is no longer with us. Marty has gone into bigger and better things. And, uh, but we're still here. And that's through the power of so many other people that have helped. And this year, uh, Trisha Pello has helped so much. Corey Diskin, you always helped so much. You set up everything. You make that, you make that uh, fireman's lounge look like a filmmaker's lounge. It's, it's fantastic. <laughs> Look who I have here. Brian O'Halloran is here to entertain us again with his many, many jokes. Not even jokes. What, what would you call what you, they are? They're observations, nothing, right? Uh, nothing too rude, nothing too biting, just some observations. It's always fun here with so many different projects and films that you guys celebrate at the awards ceremonies. With so many great guests like Jackie Martling and many, many more. Yeah. And uh, Kevin Brown as well, who will be hosting this year. I'm not hosting, I'm just presenting an award or two. So okay. it's good to see uh, them tossing the baton around to other people who are just as funny, if not yeah. funnier. So. I love to see you when you get wound up because when you get on a roll, you're really hysterical. So Brian, tell our audience, what is it you're up to these days? Well, i got a few things going on. Right now we had a, a film that was released with uh, Tom Sizemore. It's a big mob movie just released on uh, iTunes and Amazon. Oh, nice. uh, What's called, the name? It's called Bad Frank. So that's out now. Uh, another movie that I shot this past uh, January will be coming out this fall. Uh, written and directed by my co-star from Clerks, Jason Mewes. It's called Madness and the Method. Okay. So it's kind of a, like an adventure kind of comedy kind of thing that's going on. That'll be out this fall. And then there's a show called Fireball Run on Amazon Prime. They're right now on season 9. Season 10 starts in September. That's when I start my uh, appearance on that. Oh, boy, you really have a lot going on. Do you have a website where we can keep up with everything and find out where you're going to be appearing? The best way to do it is through my Twitter account, which is Brian C., as in Christopher, my middle name, Brian C. O'Holloran, on both Twitter and Instagram, Facebook. There is a Facebook page as well that they can do. I'm glad to see 20 years, 20 years, people. Awesome. And the IKEA lampshade lamps have still <laughs> survived. Usually people say we have to stop meeting like this, but I'm going to say we have to keep meeting like this. I'm with Jackie Modeling, Jackie the Joke Man. Jackie, it's always a pleasure to see you. I only come to these things because I know you're going to be here. I thought so. I thought so, but sh don't tell everybody. It's great. It's nice to see you. We actually, uh, our film, we have a very good chance of getting best comedy short called Shoot Me Nicely. And Bill Sa William Sadler is here tonight, and uh, Linda Hamilton's in it from The Terminator. She's not here, but Elias Plagiano, who created it, directed it, wrote it. He's here, and it's very exciting. It I, has I to, love coming it, it here. Shoot Me Nicely has to do with the photographer, doesn't it? It's a tabloid photographer who's having trouble making ends meet because everybody has an iPhone now. Uh. That's and, the truth. And it's, uh, it's a very interesting short, but it's also a comedy pilot 
for TV series, and we think we might have a deal, so we're very excited. Good. See that poster over there, High Hopes 2, A New Beginning? Uh -huh. I'm one of the lead actresses in that. Wow. So Yeah, and that's a comedy, too, so I'm going to be pitted up against you. Is that here tonight? No, it was here Thursday night. It was very good. No, I I'm saying it's in the running? Yeah. Is it a short? It's a feature. Oh, because ours is a short. Oh, okay. So then we're not in competition. But anyway. So we can be friends then. We can still it's be friends. It's not the Yankees and uh, the Mets. I, I play the boss in a taxi garage. You play a boy? A boss <laughs> in the taxi garage. And I hate my employee who's a struggling actor. And he has to fight me in the boxing ring to get his job back because I fired his A. Wow. Shoot me nicely. Uh, my book comes out. Oh. Uh, tell me about your book. My book comes out October 24th. Oh, you have the best business cards. It's a guitar pick, right? Here it is. Oh, here's another one. You got a new business card uh, now? You, you name it, I got it right there. He likes business cards. That's it. Oh, I love it. It has See, guitar it's... picks on the back. Yeah. See, See like that? Magic trick. Isn't that adorable? And then um, I think everyone who worked on this uh, somehow is involved in uh, life here. So I just wanted to thank this amazing festival. Congratulations to 20 years. And thank you so much to my amazing cast, Diana, William Sandler, and Jackie Martling, and those who are not here. Cheers. Thank you. Yeah, I, I guess I missed that phone call from you, everybody. <laughs> Please put your hands together and use your whole hand and applaud until she makes her way all the way to the stage. Give it up for Miss Eileen Kristen. I am uh, delighted uh, to present this next clip uh, for the actor William Sadler. Cheap wine and the half-eaten lock of mozzarella. I don't remember inviting you, and that is not mozzarella cheese. I'm with Fred Carpenter, and although he doesn't have a film in the festival this year, he has a neat movie that he's shooting right now, and it's called Dinosaur. Fred, tell me about this movie. Uh, it's a day in the life of a New York City police officer, played by Robert Clohesse. His adversary is Chuck Zito. We have Edward Asner in the movie, uh, Kevin Brown, uh, Joan Jett, you know, wow. some really good stuff's happening. Every, every time. So tell me, how come so many of your movies are based on, uh, you have police in it? You well, like that. One of my favorite movies, I've done 23 movies, is Just Like Joe. And that's not like a policeman, that's touching of the heart. But it's cowboys and Indians, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. saying so good now, job, how, how far along are you? When are you going to be done? Uh, we finished shooting by the end of August, and I'll have it ready to show in November. Very so good. So you support the Long Island International Film Expo. That's what we like to hear. Good luck with that. Thank you so much. I'm with Sarah Kerriott, and she's here all the way from Silicon Valley in California because she has a terrific movie here at the Long Island International Film Expo. Tell everybody what the name of your movie is and what the premise is. So my movie is called The Valley, and it's about an Indian-American entrepreneur uh, who lives in Silicon Valley, and for all external purposes, his life looks ideal. He's, uh, he's had a couple of IPOs, he, he's, he's made it, he's, he's wealthy, um, but his daughter goes away to college, and shortly thereafter, she commits suicide. So this sets him on a, a journey to try to find out what happened. So um, it's, it's really uh, his transformation as he understands himself and his family and the choices he's made. Yeah. Now, is this a short or a feature length? It's a feature length. It's a oh. feature length movie. Oh, how many minutes about? Uh, 95 minutes. Oh, okay. And now you wrote this and you directed it. Yeah. What made you decide to write this? So I wrote it, directed it, and co-produced it. Um, it, it comes from several different uh, inspirations. The first being, um, I've actually been exposed in my extended family to mental health issues like depression and yeah. and uh, anxiety and, and so on. And um, that really um, made me think about that issue and how there's so much shame and stigma and people don't you know, come out and talk about it and, and deal with the issue in, in many cases, especially in the immigrant community. And the second is that in, this, in Silicon Valley, there's just an incredible amount of pressure pe placed on young people because the parents are usually successful. That's how you know, they live there and they, they've achieved a lot in their life and um, they put a lot of pressure on the kids. So 
the kids are really um, struggling in, in many cases and uh, it's evidenced by the cluster suicides that have occurred in in schools in Palo Alto so I just um, I looking at the, what the kids are going through that's what made me think about this story. Do you have a website for your movie? Yes I do it's called uh, thevalleyfilm.com. I also want to mention that in her movie was the best actress. Do you want to mention her name because I'm a little mad I was up for the award for High Hopes too. didn't get it so let's give her a little kudos. What's her name? Uh, so Suchitra Pillai won best actress, Agnita Takar won best supporting actress and we won best original score for Jacob Yaffe at this wow. festival. So we're very proud and um, we're looking forward to tonight. I am with these two adorable actors and I understand that the movie there it is up for an award. What's your name and what's the name of your movie? I'm Maximilian and my movie is called The Pixie Fighters and it's about fighting for cancer. Oh, okay. And, and your name is? My name is Juliana and I'm in the same film as him, The Pixie Fighters. Oh, okay. So now tell me, it has something to do with you finding out that your dad has cancer, your dad has cancer, and uh, it's not true, right? It's a make -up, made up story, right? Actually, uh, the director actually decided to uh, make this movie because it actually happened to him in real life. It's a true story. What's the director's name? His name is Danny Schaffman and he's a wonderful director. I mean, when he, when he, when I audition and he gave me a job I was very very happy is this your first movie uh, this is well yes uh, with this topic and stuff like that but I've also done TV shows and commercials and stuff like that but this is like one of the deepest like topics that I've done yeah, it's heavy now you play his sister um, no, I play one of his friends Oh, you play one of the friends oh, okay now uh, was this shot on Long Island uh, this was shot in Long Island and Great Neck as well as in the city um, yeah okay do you guys have a website where we can find out more about you IMDB IMDB okay spell me your whole name it's Maximilian's your first name you can have a last name S-T-E-B-E-L-S-K-Y what about you um, my last name is Barbario B-A-R-B-E-R-I-O good luck to you guys thank you thank you I would like to thank everyone. Well, first of all, I would like to thank everyone for coming here tonight. Um, I really appreciate it. I mean, Pixie Fighters is such an amazing movie slash film. I mean, we work really hard on it. It's based on a true story. Um, I never thought we would win this award, but I always had hope in mind, and I was really rooting for winning this award. I would like to thank Danny Schaffman, Evan, uh, the cast and crew of Pixie Fighters. Um, it was really amazing shooting with you guys, the crafty crew, the film crew, <laughs> Anthony the cameraman, it was just really amazing. <laughs> being here today and all of you guys like all the people who voted for us and if Danny if Danny was here he'd be really proud <laughs> I'm here with Peter Ingenito, and he has some films in the festival, am I correct? Uh, yes. Uh, last week, we, uh, show, I shown three films at the uh, uh, Young Filmmaker Showcase. One of them um, was actually a film I did at uh, my school at BOCES. Um, it's called Behind the Glasses. It's about myself going through, at a young age, going through Asperger's, um, but also overcoming, like, stereotypes and limitations that people would thought I would go through at an older age. Okay. And then I did a documentary on Chris Roach. Well, I, I didn't do oh, it. Oh, yeah, the comedian. But we did as a part of Not Yet Legal Films, which is run by Trisha Pello and Lori Ann Davis. Uh -huh. It was me, her son, um, Lori Ann Davis' son, Severio, and another couple of other kids from my uh, school. And we uh, decided to um, do a documentary on Chris Roach going through anxiety. And he has anxiety, that funny man? 
Yeah, he does. And um, we followed him a day bef um, before his uh, governor show. We went um, backstage and we interviewed him and he opened up to us. And then the last film we did was The Perfect Kid, which kind of also relates to the theme of like insecurities. I'm here now celebrating the 20th anniversary of the Long Island International Film Expo with Trish Apello, who has become their right hand. Trish, you do so much to help the, the expo, don't you? I, 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 do, I do work hard, but I enjoy every minute of it. Um, I love supporting the independent film community on Long Island. And um, the hard work really brings me a lot of joy. I'm with the very beautiful Cheryl Martin, and she was in Forgive Me. And you played a psychologist. You did a great job. You had me convinced. Thank you so much. It was actually really fun to play a different role than I normally am used to playing, to be seen as a business professional, where I've had very many past experiences where um, people have used me as a kind of like a sex symbol icon kind of thing. But I want to be seen and I want to be known for my work, not just for any kind of looks. Yeah, yeah. Cheryl, how can people find out what you're doing? So you can keep up to date with me on Instagram and on my Facebook page. Um, you can reach me at bluestarli um, at AOL.com. And I look forward to being in contact with you. If you're looking for any kind of locations on Long Island or you're looking to cast anyone for any of your upcoming projects, I can be whatever you need me to be on your set. So uh, reach out to me.